As of Monday, you may see a neighborhood police officer in your community. It's part of an enhanced neighborhood policing pilot project that's going to begin on October 1st and continue for six months in several neighborhoods in the east and west ends of the city. Now, Toronto police are looking to make better connections with people, not just face to face, but also online. These officers are all connected by email, social media, on cell phones. And the officers know, and uh, that's one of the things that they sign on, that they are going to be available to the residents, to anyone in these neighborhoods 24-7. That's, that's a huge leap in policing. A total of 44 officers will be taking part in the program, which is meant to be an improvement on the neighborhood policing system that started five years ago. Among the changes, specific training will be given to the officers, and if the program continues beyond the pilot, those officers will be stationed in their particular neighborhoods for four years. Being a part of the community, I think, is very important so that they don't see us just as a uniform. They see our face. Uh, we build this relationship with the people. Uh, right now, I think of my friends and my family, and they have me as a resource. Uh, they can come to me with questions. and. This opportunity will allow me to be that for the community here. That's a great idea yeah. to keep the community safe. Actually, they've been good. They play with the children. They come here. They keep them busy. Yeah. They host movie nights. The trust is a two-way street, and our labor officers understand that. They, they have to earn the respect, and they have to earn the trust. They have to demonstrate the, the compassion, the care, the commitment they have in the neighborhood. So my, my, my message to community members, don't, don't be afraid. Say hi to them and give us a chance. If an expansion of this program gets approved, there will be more than 100 neighborhood officers in 60 different communities across the city by this time next year. Near Scarlet Road in Dundas, Tammy Sutherland, City News.